please welcome the Garfield High School Jazz Ensemble. We're the Garfield High School Jazz Ensemble, as you heard from Seattle, Washington. And I have to do some thank yous. First of all, I want to thank Wynton Marcellus. When I was coming up, Clark Terry was the Pied Piper of Jazz Education. Now it's Wynton, so I want to say hats off to him. And uh, yes. I want to salute our principal who came out of this band program, Ted Howard, who's watching in Seattle. I have some of the best parent boosters in the world. They told me not to say anything. I'm doing it anyway. Thank you, parents. I love you and appreciate it. Ferez Whitted, thank you very much. Ron Carter, thank you very much. Allison, our greeter, thank you very much. Tatum Greenblatt, our mentor, graduate of Garfield High School. Yes. And last and certainly not least, Miss Lisa Renahan, who planned this, planned this whole trip. We're going to open up with Down South Camp Meeting, features Daniel Leon on uh, clarinet and Fedor Paretsky on alto saxophone. Down South.
Next, we're gonna do Molasses, Magnolias. It features Nick Lutenko on piano, Ajan Alibi on drums, Yasma Vismali on trumpet, Tommy Renahan on trumpet, Isaac Poole on trombone, Michael Dalton trombone, and Daniel Leon on clarinet. Magnolias dripping with molasses.
Verizon. Thank you very much. We're going to finish up with what Quincy Jones, a Garfield grad, calls North American indigenous folk music, better known as the blues. One you've never heard before, this is St. Louis blues. It features Yasna, this time out of the trumpet section, to the vocal mic. Tommy, Tommy Renahan on trumpet, Andrew Targerson on tenor sax, Isaac Poole once again on trombone, and Benjamin Lindenberg on tenor sax, St. Louis Blues. Thank you. 
Manitoba's rock and rock line. And I love the Manitoba day I die. And we're back here with legendary band director, music educator, and drummer, and New Orleans native, Clarence Acox. Your band just came off the stage. How do you feel about that performance? I feel good. They love the swing, and I love that they love to swing. And that's been a hallmark of Garfield for many years. So they're living up to the tradition. And how many years is that, uh, Mr. Acox? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man, you gotta tell, there's a worldwide audience looking at you thinking you're like 45 years old. How long have you been teaching? I've been teaching for a long time, let's put it like <laughs> that. You're not gonna get me to incriminate myself. So, so tell me this, you know, Seattle has this, has this reputation of being kind of a, like a wellspring for great jazz talent. What, what is it up there? What, what is the system, what is the support like? Why, why Seattle? Well, we've had a tradition of swing for many, many years. It started with Waldo King at Garfield, and then he left Garfield and went to Roosevelt. So we've been swinging for, for many years, about 50 years. Mm -hmm. But everybody on the East Coast is just finding out about it. But And essentially Ellington, because people know that things that we do, mm -hmm. and so as a result of that, more people know about us. But we've been swinging for a, quite a long time, Roosevelt and Garfield. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you now are starting to have students who are leading band there now, too, as well. Your principal came from the band. My principal came from a band. My assistant, who's directing the third jazz band, came out of the band program, and I have kids that are private teachers that are former students. Mm -hmm. So we keep it going on. Keep it going on. So talk a little bit about your principal. Since he came out of the band program, you must get more support than any school in America. Well, all my principals <laughs> have supported us, but definitely he does support us, and he understands what it takes to put, a, put together a good band program, a music program, because our orchestra program is well-renowned, mm -hmm. and our vocal program is good, too, so he, he understands that. So you're from New Orleans. How would you end up in Seattle? I was recruited a few years ago to take over the band program. <laughs> You're not going to get me to tell you I how many just, years. I'm just asking. New Orleans is very different than Seattle, Washington. Well, New Orleans is, I, that's my homeboy, Louis Armstrong, as he always says. He likes red bean and rice and gumbo. And so we have a lot of people that can fix gumbo in Seattle. So therefore, I stay. There you go. <laughs> Seattle's gumbo. <laughs> Let's get one of your students in here and talk to her real quick, okay? This is Leah Lapierre. Leah Lapierre. Come on, Come on in, Leah. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. I'm feeling so, great. And, and what year are you in school? I'm a senior. You're a senior. Man, you were, you were thumping up there. All the judges, as soon as you started playing, they all noticed it. Yeah, thank you. Um, I don't know. It just comes from practice, I guess. I can't even explain how to do it, you know? <laughs> so what was your favorite moment of your performance today? I, I actually don't have one. Um, oh, honestly, I just have so much fun playing the entire time. It's just the swing gets to me so much. I just enjoy every moment of it. Like, I have this thing called a bass face that I get where every. You want to show us your bass face real quick? <laughs> I, I, I don't really know. Bass face. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's hard to imitate, honestly, but um, it only just comes from being so in the moment. But. I just noticed that when I'm having so much fun up there on the stage, when I'm really swinging, the bass bass kind of goes away on its own um, because, like, you can't help but smile. Who do you listen to as, as a bass player? What bass players do you listen to? I mean, I have a lot of favorites. Like, obviously, there's so many really good professionals, but I'd say my main source of inspiration is Esperanza Spalding, um, mostly because she's a woman of color, and I really connect with her on, like, a personal level, especially with her singing. I love vocal jazz. I just I listen to it all the time because it's just a great source of inspiration for solos. But um, 
yeah, just like her as a person, as a figurehead for me is like really touches me. That's great. And what are you, what are you doing next year? Um, I'm going to college, not for music, but um, it's all right. it's all yeah, right. but I'm definitely going to play music. Where, where are you going to school at? Santa Clara University. Wonderful.